What's up, y'all? And welcome back to Dad Needs to Talk. I'm your host, Robert, and today, today, we are talking about Steel of the Celestial Shadows, Volume 1. Now, <laughs> this is one of the first manga, I new manga I have read. They should have kicked off 2024. And if this is an indication of how great manga might be this year, then we might be in for a treat. So, Steel of the Celestial Shadows. First off, it is... Uh, Lord. The story and art is done by Daruma Matsura. And the volumes are going to be published by Viz Media. So... Still of the Celestial Shadows. So, this one caught my attention both by the name and the cover art. If you're watching the video version of this, y'all have it up on screen. If not, go look up what the cover of this looks like. Because it is one that at least like grabs your eye for a little bit. Just with how they have uh, Suki, the, the woman, her in the background... Um, Kanosuke, the main MC guy, kind of like looking disheveled and stuff, whatever, kind of shadowed out. And then the text in red. Very nice looking cover that grabs your attention. And so I decided to, to reach out for a digital review copy. Shout out to Viz for providing that. Just on my curiosity, I didn't even really read much of a synopsis or whatever. I was just like, this cover looks dope and interesting. Let me check it out. And so, this story pretty much follows a, on a super basic level, it is about a samurai who can't touch metal. Thus, he can't hold a sword, a traditional samurai sword. So, Konosuke basically was raised up and trained up in the way of a samurai. So, he knows how to Weird or he knows how to fight and do combat or whatever, supposedly. But, you know, he's always mainly had to train with wooden or bamboo swords or whatever because he can't hold a metal sword. Um, and to be clear, he can't interact with any metal, period. Not just swords, like jewelry, money, anything. If he gets close to whatever... It basically he like repels it or, or deflects it or whatever. So, um, kind of like kind of like maybe like like a uh, like a uh, twist on Magneto, so to speak, or whatever. Ben who so so he spent most of his life after you know some tragedy happens in his youth or whatever that he felt like was at his fault because he couldn't hold a sword to protect someone or whatever. He's kind of just lived his life, you know, just along with an assistant or whatever because he can't handle money or certain things or whatever so he needs somebody to help him and so one day he goes and trying to find a job or whatever they make fun of him because he's a samurai who he's a quote-unquote samurai who can't wield a sword and also small things you don't think about when you can't deal with metal is because he can't deal with metal or whatever he can't really get shaved because the blade will just reflect off his skin. So he looks, you know, just like bad facial hair and stuff, whatever, because he can't get it trimmed or whatever. And so they're like, no, dude, like if 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 you can't even come in looking presentable, shaving and stuff, whatever, then no, you're not going to get a job. So he's feeling kind of down and out or whatever and ready to just kind of give up on life and stuff. And so some guys are kind of coming by. He picks a he picks a fight with them because he's like, you know what? If nothing else, I'd rather die by the sword. And so <laughs> this is when they kind of like start to kind of like really show off his ability or whatever, or the thing that's going on, or whatever, is that he picks a fight, the guy goes to cut down on cut him down, and he's you know basically waiting to embrace sweet release. The sword gets like right up on his face and then just like deflects back on the dude <laughs> and stabs the dude that tried to attack him or whatever. And so that kind of starts off this 
snowball of events and stuff that kind of leads him to um being rescued and then end, ending up getting a wedding invitation from a mysterious woman named Suki who is like, hey, I want to marry you or whatever. And of course, a very beautiful woman just comes out of nowhere and is like, hey, random, seemingly random person or whatever. I want to rent. I want to marry you or whatever. And here's all this money to pay for the wedding. Da, 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 da. And now we're husband and wife. <laughs> and that's kind of like the basis of the situation or whatever. And so... Anywho, lots of little situations and stuff happen along the way. I'm not going to, I don't want to spoil every single thing or whatever, but uh, another kind of confrontation happens to where he ends up finding out that like, oh, okay, I actually can fight even without a proper sword. All that training he's done all his life, actually, he actually has skills to fight and stuff, whatever. And that kind of brings him and his now wife kind of closer together and they kind of start living a little bit of a happier life and then he kind of gets this introduction to this kind of more mystical realm and starts to get answers into this problem that he's had with not being able to touch metals um, but it's more specifically warping metals and they have an encounter with the guy who can manipulate water, like water of all sorts, because they're in the house and like, man, like my mouth is feeling dry, or whatever. And like they go to like the, the little like pot for water. It's just like, and the sermon, the, the, the assistant guy is like, like, dude, I swear I just filled up the thing with water. I don't know what's going on. So crops and stuff outside, ground is looking dry. Oh, thank you. Downpour of rain is like, okay. It's raining or whatever, but the ground is still dry. And so it begins this confrontation with this guy that's coming to get his wife. And kind of like I said, in the process of all this, whatever, it kind of starts to open up the door of answers of, hey, there is this whole other part of world or society where there are a lot of people that have special powers or special techniques um like like this guy who can uh basically manipulate water or like you who can uh warp metals and so that's kind of in a basic nutshell how things kind of leave off a bit of like a little bit of a cliffhanger a little bit of a tease at the end of the volume but uh but yeah, it, it just like really blew up in the door of my interest in this because like I said, like, like early on, I was a little bit interested and then the moment where the sword came down and then kind of deflected, I was like, oh, what's going on? Because like I said, I didn't really read the, read the synopsis, so I don't even know if this was in the synopsis or not, but I was like, oh, you have my interest here. What is going on? And then like I said, towards the end, it's like, okay, hey, nah, there's more people out there that have abilities and stuff um like you or whatever so because matter of fact i think i'm trying to think i think she even has an ability of some sort so i can't remember if it was something to do with dreams or something but uh do 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 yeah i can't I can't find it, but I don't, I don't, I don't really just spoil everything, whatever. So, but yeah, so overall, very strong first impression. And I definitely look forward to reading some more volumes of this. I don't know if I'm going to immediately read volume two or depending on what the release dates and stuff, whatever, maybe wait and let a couple more volumes and then read a couple volumes at a time. But, um, but yeah, like I said, I am definitely very interested to see, um, uh, where this might go but this is a strong start like i said just like the overall ideal package to start things off with a beautiful volume cover interesting title and a very interesting premise and stuff so um so yeah so that is uh still of the celestial shadows like i said from uh viz media put it on your radar um it should be out within the next couple of weeks or it might already be out by the time you're releasing this guy. I'm going to try to release this close to the release of uh, 
of the volume coming out in English. But uh, but yeah, this is a pretty strong start for 2024 manga. And I got some other stuff I got lined up that I want to check out and stuff. But I like to talk about the stuff that has my interest while it's fresh on my mind before I go trying to read a bunch of other stuff at the same time. So, but, uh, but yeah, very, very good stuff. And I am looking forward to seeing where this goes. But yeah, let me know y'all thoughts down below. Um, is this something that piques your interest or is it something that you've already been checking out and that you're happy that it's finally getting a physical release? Let me know. Let's talk. And uh, as always, you can find me everywhere at Dad Needs to Talk. Make sure you're subscribed on YouTube and following on podcast services. And I'll catch y'all in the next review or the next podcast episode. And y'all be easy. Peace.